okay. <clears throat> Helping others. And Mama will be right back, honey. Helping others and dedicating yourself to the principle of people and um, for those of you who can't see a reason, you know the reason should be <clears throat> that you care about people. If you do the first commandment, it comes automatically. When you love people, you care enough. When people hurt, you care enough to help. You know, the one thing that I've <clears throat> um, had trouble with as far as um, helping other people is when, like the Lord, like the Bible says, you, you have not because you ask not. And that is found in... James 4. <clears throat> James 4. Uh, verse 3. Um, okay. And I'll read a little bit to you in just a minute. Can you be quiet while Pamela does this? You better because you have to stand in the corner. You stand in the corner. Okay, the King James says, you ask and receive not, because you ask amiss, that you may consume it upon your lust. Hey. 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 Oh, you mad at Papa. Oh. Um, okay. And because you have, you ask not, or you have not because you ask not. And a lot of times people, they would just uh, assume that, hey, I'm the most important on the planet Earth, and you're supposed to come and help me, no matter what, if you, if you know it or not, you're supposed to help me. You know, there was a king that said to this prophet, uh, come down and pray because he had leprosy. And the prophet sent a messenger to the king's house. And he said, go dip yourself seven times in the Jordan River. Well, the Jordan River is uh, always muddy, you know, because there, everybody lives right along the river. They all deal with the things inside the river. So, you know, they do their thing in the river there. So, um, and this is why the king was kind of upset when he said sent his messenger and said go to you know because he thought the prophet was going to come down and give him reference and do all kind of stuff for him and he was going to um, maybe bow or something like he was you know the, the most important person in the world and you know something man that's that's exactly how you get God not to answer your prayers um, when you think you are stepping up in God's place and doing all this crazy stuff like this but anyway um, but this is what the Bible says okay Matthew 25 uh, 40 um, and, and this is what Jesus is saying whatsoever things you do the least of these uh, brothers and sisters of mine you have done to me King James says it like this uh, and the king shall answer and say unto them truly or verily I say unto you in as much as you have done it unto one of the uh, least of these my brethren you have done it unto me and those things that you pertain that are important to you and those things that you hold dear to your heart um, as you do unto the Lord as you do unto the Lord do you want a bop bop? Let's get this on film so 
if mommy happens to see this, you you might get in trouble. Come here, then you can go to mamma. You can go lay down. Here she is. Go suck on your baba. <laughs> Spoiled rotten right bread. Anyways, <clears throat> okay. Now, when we ask these things, a miss, like James says, what is a miss? Okay, not getting your prayer answered because, you know, that one verse of people that um, are arrogant and self centered, like the king, one of the first things they do is say, you better watch out because, you know, defending themselves and their arrogance. Because the Bible says the things you do to, to me, you've done to Jesus. Well, they need to read the whole Bible. About what is being done on their behalf not to get their prayer answered. You know... I prayed for this one young man, and I still pray. I, I don't give up until the Lord says no. But as many times as I have prayed for him, God has never spoken to me about him. He has family around him close there that in an arrogant way, they, they're good at hiding it, but in an arrogant way, they they push me away, so you know what they, they um, if they, and if they ask me, I'm a, I'm just gonna be blunt and truthful with them. You know, I may hurt their feelings, but sometimes people's feelings need to get hurt. If they ever say, "Why didn't you come and pray?" I'm gonna say, "Why didn't you come and ask me?" You have not because you asked not. And and apparently God doesn't want me to go because you know I, I could just say because God didn't send. You know, because God didn't sin. Maybe in that way, I'm answering them, I, I would be answering them in the same fashion that they've answered to me all this time. There's been, you know, I pass right by his house every day, a couple of times a day, and there's not been one time that I have not desired to have God speak to my heart and say, go into that place and pray. But he never does, and he never has. And they're they're saying that he's in a really bad shape now, and uh, he's um, the place where he's getting close to death. And you know what? It's there is nothing God can't do. It doesn't matter where he's at. It doesn't matter if he's been dead four days. God can still bring him up out of that. So, uh, people that ask not, they have not because they ask not, because, um, like the King James says here, look, let's read a little bit of that. Okay, I want to read to you in the, the NIV. Help some of you folks that don't look at the Bible very much understand. Um, you do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask... You do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasure. You know what? I've seen people, they have covered their sicknesses. They want pity from the rest of the world, so they cover, put them down, put them down, put them down, put them down, put them down. Put them down. Those shoes are really dirty, babe. They're nasty. Just put them down. Papa will get them. Uh... And and they covet their sickness, so they don't really they don't really want to get rid of it. So God lets you keep what you don't really want to get rid of. You know, God doesn't want to spoil His children. The Bible says here, verse four, James four four, you adulterous people, don't you know that friendships with the world means enemy uh, against God? And that's exactly what it is. That's why. We don't get prayers answered when we're looking toward the place where we're blaming everybody else and 
You know what? We cause people to be lost when we do this. We simply cause our family members, we cause them to be lost. They might get mad at you. They might never speak to you again if you tell them truth, if you stand on what is right before God. But you know something? They have a lot better chance of getting to know who the Lord is if you do that. All right. God bless. Thank you for joining. We'll see you next time right here. Another great message on Crossing the Middle Ministry.